Welcome to part two of what is probably going to be a three-part series, If Object Show Hosts Were Charged for Their Crimes. In this one, we're going to look at crimes committed by BFDI's other host, Four. Like the first video, punishments will be determined by either US federal law or Virginia state law if it isn't a federal crime, because since Goiki is in a real place, I'm just using my home state as a basis. But anyways, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, and go watch part 1 as well, even though it isn't strictly necessary for this video. And with that, let's get into it. Super fun time for God to mention one more thing. While Mel's popular as this channel, Floatless was actually the one who made the construction of Thank you to the Dust 34 for mentioning this. Unlike the announcer, who didn't commit his first crime until 1B, we really hit the ground running with the funny blue number, with their first crime occurring within the first minute after their debut. Four spins pin around into modern art, killing her in the process, much to the horror of the other objects who were around at that moment. Four's screeches cause pain every single time they're heard, so I'm just gonna compile them all here. Six times in BFB1, once in BFB2, and three each. Twice in BFB4, three times in BFB5, once in BFB6, once in BFB13, and once in BFB18. Then, when Four is about to screech again, Pillow tries to put a stop to it, but Four kills her. And we know this because she, along with Pen and Balloonie, who died from an unrelated cause, get recovered by them. In BFB2, Donut gets flung away from the cake at stake area after being told he's on another team. Each time Four sends someone to the exit in the series is a count of forced imprisonment as well. They do this 12 times total, not counting the time they fail to suck up Spongy. Immediately after, they commit 8 more counts of forced imprisonment when they trap some of the contestants in Jawbreakers. Next, they kick off BFB3 by trying to kill Gelatin for hitting them with forks that he threw. They would have gone all the way too, if it wasn't time for the intro. Here in BFB4 is another battery charge, except this time instead of a screech, it is with a physical heart, a hitting eraser, making him fly far away. In BFB5, 4 cuts off one of X's limbs. This is a clear instance of a mutilation charge. In the same episode, Four decides mid-challenge that flyers are prohibited, and subsequently kills Lightning and Black Hole, and finding up Puffball and Cloudy, though the latter is not a crime in this case. In BFB6, Four does to Foldy what they did to Pin in episode 1, and then blasts Stapy, though he doesn't get nearly killed this time. Here, we see that Four is clearly preparing to kill Nickel, just like they nearly killed Gelatin, but once again are stopped when a better name than that causes them to be absorbed into Donuts. After the last crime, Four dies, but when they get brought back to life in BFP10, they threaten the Screech Clock, but don't actually carry it out. Unfortunately for Four, this is still a crime under Virginia state law as a Class 1 misdemeanor. What Ford does end up carrying out is a plot to kill Clock, doing so off screen. We know this one is planned because of a to do list on the desk in the exit reading to kill Clock, making it a first degree murder and a warning for with their first death penalty. In BFB 11, Ford threatens to kill the Flyers again with the button. They don't do this but it is still a punishable offense as a Class 6 felony under Virginia state law. In BFB 12, Four slaps X while they're disguised as each other. I don't think I need to elaborate any further on this one. The impersonation itself is not a crime though, because they aren't trying to hurt X's reputation here. In BFB 13, at Cake at Stake, Four launches hot soup into the faces of both Barf Bag and Spongy. After this, Gelatin asks to cool down the soup, but the damage has already been done. To cool down the soup, Four uses Ice Cube, who is melted into a tinier state as a result of the hot soup. The change isn't technically permanent, but does require her to die for it to be reversed, 
and she wouldn't have known this at the time anyways. One of the spoonfuls of soup also knocks Bami's banana into black hole. But since a single banana is only worth cents on the dollar, while it's technically property damage, this is not a punishable crime. Four also swallows Pillow. This isn't cannibalism since they aren't the same species, and Pillow also isn't digested but still trapped, which makes this forced imprisonment. So Four will be punished accordingly. After they goad Four into doing so, they screech Death Pact. None of them get harmed since they were prepared, but assault is still assault. In BFB 15, lava comes out of their eye that burns Gady to death. Four could easily have moved out of the way before this happened, so this is a count of involuntary manslaughter. Near the start of BFB 16, Four murders basketball. How they do, we don't get to see, so it's unknown if it's also mutilation or not. With all this crime, it's no wonder so many contestants left the show, and we're not even close to being done yet. In BFB 17, Four stretches Baloney's hand to create four fingers on the end causing him great physical distress. The charge for mutilation that isn't deadly varies, but I would roughly equate this to the loss of a hand, since Baloney probably is going to have a hard time using his hands now. In BFB 18, Lollipop gets killed by Four's comforting pats. I know you were trying to help Four, but a murder is a murder. Oh look, 11 more counts of forced imprisonment this time with the BRB. BFB 19's next, and apparently, that line about X going to a burn recovery center in BFB 3 was for a literal burn, not just for an insult. At the end of the episode, instead of putting X out immediately, Four decides to make X, getting put out, be next episode's challenge. This is a clear charge of criminal negligence, since Four could put X out of his pain now, but refuses to. In BFB 20, Four does to Blocky what they previously did to Pin in BFB 1 and Foldy in PFB 6, turn him into modern art. In BFB 22, Four pops Bubble in the courtroom. Sorry doesn't cut it in the court of law, Four. Also, the courtroom does not belong to Four, so that means they're trespassing on somebody else's property. Forty spawns Purple Face twice in BFB 24, which is two more counts of second degree murder. They then despawn X again in BFB 25, and again in BFB 26 as well. In BFB 27, the remaining contestants, along with Purple Face and CRT, are trapped by Thor in the giant oven from BFB 1. They can die if they touch the wall despite X's magic, which makes this criminal endangerment. Finally, when the announcer shows back up in BFB 28, Thor tries to throw him away, but is unsuccessful. If we put all of this together, four sentence would amount to one death sentence, 15 life sentences, 164 years in prison, and a fine of $315,000. That's all for this video. Part 3 will be about me phone 4. Thank you for watching.